what 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 do you do glorious gamers it is your boy god hand back again thank you so much for checking out the video welcome back to the channel all you beautiful glorious gamers uh yes uh i was in the middle of uh doing a little bit of cleaning but then i got some amazing crazy news and i just had to stop which i was probably gonna do anyway and come and let you guys know my thoughts and if you don't know for some reason uh the actual news itself as you know Unfortunately, there's a strong period of culture in gaming. You know, it's a metric that companies look to to see how good their game is or how good their marketing is. Really, they use that. That's something that they that they look at. Um, and unfortunately, <laughs> that's the case because people pre-order a lot. So the reason why I'm bringing this up is because if you don't know, there's been a bit of a change in the uh, expected Call of Duty pre-order numbers. Now, you know, there's still time left, obviously, to where people can pre-order more, but this is still a pretty big indication of what's going on. If you guys don't know, the Call of Duty pre-orders are extremely low. I mean, look at that. Dude. For PS4, we're barely at a 33. For Xbox One at the time, when this was recorded at, um, at May 14th, 2016, barely at a 30. So that <laughs> those numbers have probably gone up, unfortunately, until um, since then. But I mean, if you just scroll your beautiful eyes on down a little bit to where they were around the same time last year for Black Ops 3's Punk Behind. Big difference, big difference. Now, we know that the sales for Call of Duty have been going down regularly. They've been going down pretty drastically. They're at less than half of what it was for MW3, which is obviously off of the success of, the success of MW2. It's expected that you would see a uh, uh, decline in numbers, but you're not supposed to jump off the freaking cliff. I mean, come on, dude. Look at that, bro. That's a gunshot to the head, bro. You didn't. Dude, that wasn't a slow death. Uh-uh, son. You didn't make it past 22, fam. Uh, you died in the hood at 19. Are you kidding me? So that's not what we're seeing here. That's that's not the regular degradation of the sales. No, 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 no. This is this is the community finally using their voice, the voice that matters. Your money. I came from my wallet. If you, and so if you go around and you look at all the websites, everybody that's talking about this, you know, everybody's saying, "Oh my gosh, wow, wow! I can't believe it! How low Call of Duty's uh, 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 pre-order numbers are! Oh, this is a disaster! This is the worst! This is this is so bad! No, 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 no! People, people, people! This right here, these numbers right here, this is the biggest hope that Call of Duty has had in a long time in terms of us gamers getting a, a great product. This number represents a fantastic shift in priority to, for, for Activision. That's what this is saying. This is not a disaster, not by any means. This is not something that we should be worried about. Oh, this is fantastic. That's great because now they give a damn about what game is gonna come out. Is it gonna be broken day one? Is it gonna need a thousand patches? You know, is it is it balanced? Is is is, the, is this something that people want to play versus oh, this is just another Call of Duty? Come on, come on, turn it out, turn it out. Let's milk the cow. All right, hit that dead horse, hit it. Hey, listen, this is great. This is fantastic. I am so happy to see this. I mean, of course, I'd rather see zero or you know like two or three. Obviously, promoting any game is not a good idea. This is how Activision gets the message to give us a better product. This is how we communicate to Activision that hey, we're sick of ABC, we don't want one, two, three. We want one, B, four. So what I'm saying is, guys, keep it up, all right? If you can, don't pre-order, all right? That's what I'm saying, if you, if you can, right? which is, is very easy, just, wait till the thing comes out anyway so yeah this is great um i and uh i'm really eager to see how you know activision responds to uh, community criticism because again this is what matters to them people this is what this is what matters this is where they're going to see if the game needs to be changed right here they're not going to forums really okay the, the, this is where they go to see if the game needs to be changed if this isn't right then they go to the forums then they go to reddit then they go to customer feedback. But if this says, yes, they like the game, then no, 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 Go home, everybody. We're not gonna hit the forums. Hey, Jeff, we're leaving work early. They're pre-ordering the game like crazy. But Jeff's gonna be at work because Jeff needs to find out what the gamers want to get these numbers up, baby. Woo! So I'm very happy, very excited. 
um, you know, this is th um, this is this is change coming. This is change coming. So let's let's keep it up. Let's keep it up and let's see what's gonna happen. It is your boy Godhead, and until next time, peoples, I'm out.